Welcome to I Never Saw It in the Catalog, a video presentation of antique phonograph items not yet found in period catalogs. The first item is a horn produced in the last decade of the 1800s for reproduction of sound. It is a diminutive 18 and a half inches long with a seven and a half inch bell and constructed of three separate sections with a crooked end. Note the substantial sawtooth horn hanger and elaborate decorations. The next item is an Edison automatic reproducer upgraded by the Pardee Ellenberger Edison dealer whose building is shown next to the reproducer. Modifications to this reproducer include a special embossed fiber diaphragm embossed Pardee Ellenberger, New Haven, Connecticut, an additional stylus weight, and a domed top plate with a conical sound aperture. Shown is the Phono Barretto, a book that documents the words of over 700 songs recorded on phonograph records. The book was published in 1919 by the Phono Barretto Company Incorporated of New York City, New York, and includes the words of many cylinder recordings from the turn of the century. The next item is a Victor P2, a premium phonograph given away at no cost with the purchase of some firm's products. Though being a premium, the P2 is built with the same quality and parts as other contemporary Victor talking machine phonographs. On April 24, 1878, the Edison Speaking Phonograph Company was created to demonstrate the newly invented phonograph. Shown is a very rare card that would have been distributed in advance of an 1870s tinfoil phonograph exhibition. The final item is a sign with the image of Thomas Edison prominent in the middle. This sign, dating to around 1902, would have been displayed in an Edison store where Edison products would be exclusively sold. Thank you for watching this episode of I never saw it in the catalog.